my diamond girl. What's up, everybody? My name's Emily. I'm sitting here with John Menace, the singer from Diamond Girl. Tell me about that experience. Well, it was a fluke the way it happened. You know, the guy that wrote the song, the manager, he saw me in a talent show and uh, asked me if I would be interested in singing, um, recording some tracks because he had a dance group and they go around performing and dancing to other tracks. They wanted mm -hmm. to do their own stuff. They wanted to perform to their own songs. And I was just the kid in, in community college and under drama scholarship, you know. Okay. And I was like, okay, I'll, you know, I'll do that. And I did it. Never been in a studio ever. It was so, it was nerve wracking, but it was fun. It was exciting, exciting, right? Yeah, it was very exciting. So Diamond Girl was a huge hit. Mm -hmm. So who was the real singer? Was it you? Some people say it was Stevie B. Well, if you go on live, you look it up, it, it comes up as Stevie B, which, I mean, it, that's just because he was in that genre at the time. Okay. The same thing. And, or sometimes it comes up as Nice and Wild. Sometimes it comes up as John, as John Menace. But I am the, the original singer. You know. But you weren't in the group. I was not in the group, no. Okay. And I didn't uh, want to be in the group <laughs> at the time. So Why not? I wasn't interested in performing, going on the road and everything, because I was taking care of my mom. She was disabled, so I've been taking care of my mom since I was nine years old. Mm -hmm. And I just did not want to leave her for, you know, something that, I mean, to me, I did not take the group very serious right. as, as far as that's concerned. But when I finally did, did experience the, the, the music business, the entertainment business, it was not my cup of tea. Because I am not one of those people, I'm not a, a brown noser or one of those I'll do anything to make it type right. people. I have an issue with people trying to bully me or mm -hmm. control me. That that really burns me real bad. I mean, I get emotional about it because I, you know, I grew up, you know, I was taught totally, totally different. I couldn't cry. My mom didn't allow me to cry for things. If I wanted something, she said no. She said no. Right. That was it. If I cried about it, then she'll give me a reason to cry. That kind of thing. <laughs> you know, like my mom. <laughs> exactly. So you know, it's like I I love singing and I love performing. But I don't like, I hate the, the idea that people think, well, that's a part of the business, welcome to show business type thing. It it's shouldn't not. be that way. You know, I mean, it's, it's this abuse of power thing that, that, that kills me. It right. just really bothers me because, you know, I, I was given this gift. And it, I'm not going to have someone try to make me feel like if I want to use my gift, I have to do something. That, you don't you know, that do. I don't want to do. Like so many other people, I mean, people abuse drugs in my family, alcohol, whatever. I grew up with that. Mm -hmm. And um, I swore that I would never do it. I would not get into that lifestyle because, you know, my mom used to say, well, you be, be careful, you have an addictive gene. But that stayed with me all my life. Mm -hmm. You know, just, I am, I'm, not, I'm not foolish to think, oh, it'll never happen to me. That's where people, that's where they get caught right now. That won't happen to me. That's stupidity. You mm -hmm. know, it's like, it can't happen to you. Right. I'm human. So, you know, it's like I, I have an issue with that. And so me not wanting to do this whole Diamond Girl thing and perform with these guys is not because I didn't like them or whatever. Mm -hmm. I had other responsibilities. As a child, my, my whole world was my mother. Right. Nothing, not, nothing was more important than her. I would give up singing to take care of my mom. You know what I'm saying? So I could care less about the whole being a star thing, being famous and all that, that's just, that's not real. I'm very much into what's real, you know, and that's it. And so, Diamond Girl, I did at one point really resent those guys. I'm like, how can you go and, and lip sync and lie to people and, and it's me and I'm hearing the song on the radio, yeah. people are talking about this song and, this, and, and I can be in a club and the song will come up in the club and, and they don't even know it's me. I mean, I've actually seen them perform lip sync to my song. I was in the crowd. No way. Yeah. And they saw me. They actually saw me oh, and sorry. they were terrified because they thought I was going to, yeah, they thought I was going to do something. That has happened a couple of times, you know. Oh. And, uh, you know, I had my friends and my family provoke me to go. You should go. And, you know, my family was good. I was, you know, I was a little upset about it. But, you know, you, you grow up. Mm -hmm. And I realized they were kids when they were young. And, you know, it was not done intentionally. But at that time, you know, I was furious. But at the same time, it was my decision not to do it. They loved performing. Those guys could really dance, and they were, they were talented. They just didn't have, they couldn't sing. So I had a lot of mixed emotions about it. People yapping in your ear here, yapping in your ear there, you know. So my mom was very cool about it. My mom 
would never make me do anything I didn't want to do. It wasn't, uh, well, you got to do this. If you do this, then we can get out of here. You know, she wasn't one of those pushing the child. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to do this and you won't be poor anymore. She didn't care about that. And, and, and she was my priority. So, you know, Diamond Girl is still kicking and people, you know, remixing it and, mm -hmm. and asking me, you know, why don't... I could be on the road now performing that song and making good money doing it. Stevie B has actually contacted me a couple of times about <laughs> performing with him. Oh, okay. To go on the road with him because it's not his fault that it comes up in, in, his, right. in his name because he's got his own stuff. Right. But, um, and I chose not to do it. You know, some of the girls from Expose, Joya and all of them, I'm sequel and they, mm -hmm. they, they've also asked me, you should come on the road with us, you know. And I don't want that lifestyle anymore mm -hmm. because, you know, you still have to deal with the owners and the club owners, you know, managers don't want to pay you and they want to give you this. And I don't have time for that because, I, like I said, I, I, I don't tolerate that kind of stuff. My entire life growing up was stressful. And now my whole purpose is I just want to do what I love to do. And if it means making a few bucks and I'm living very happy, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> I'm very, very happy. So if this is what it takes for me to be peaceful and, and stress-free, then I'm happy. I'm good, you know. I'm healthy, thank God. Well, that's great because a lot of people don't get to do what they yeah. love. And it's, it's like, I, I can't complain. I do what I love to do and I make a living doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, I can I was sing in a cardboard box as long as I'm <laughs> getting to sing, you know, and, and perform. Because I see people out there and people come to you all the time. You know, right. oh, you made my day and I love when you sing. I get it every weekend. Mm -hmm. Every weekend that someone said that I, I'm made their day. You know, we work in the casino sometimes and they lose a lot of money. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, well, I don't feel so bad about losing that money, you know. That kind of thing, you know, you cheer people up. Mm -hmm. And if you really love what you're doing and love singing and not just to be popular, because you know, right. I work with people like that. They just want to be so popular. Right. They can care less about It's not about the music anymore. Yeah, it's never about that. It's about being known. When I'm on, on the stage, I'm people are watching me all the time. People have asked me to sing Diamond Girl. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not singing but Diamond Girl. Sing. Yeah, yeah, that, that is behind me. You know, if I'm going to start singing that song, then I might as well go on the road and make, make some money doing it. But when I'm doing my job, I'm not going to, you know, not going to do it. But people ask about it, and I, I don't, I appreciate it. A lot of people know that I sang the song or whatever, mm -hmm. and I appreciate it. You know, you just get tired of ask, answering that question. Right. You know, and people yeah. are thinking, Oh, these people stab you in the back, and everybody's got their, you know, their whole story. Like right. they know, like they were there. So, are you guys still friends? Like, what happened well, with the whole group in general? The like, guys they got well, they signed and well, they got signed to Atlantic Records. Okay. Um, they they were signed to an independent first, and then they got signed to Atlantic Records. Okay. And then that whole thing just um, blew up because Atlantic didn't know they were signing lip syncers. The guy, the guy that wrote this on the man, he was trying to get me in the group the entire time. Mm -hmm. you know, he, it's, it wasn't not, never one time that he didn't ask me. You know, John, you don't. He, he, he would always call me and ask mm -hmm. me. You know, if I needed anything, or he would always offer I needed something or whatever. But by the time that happened, you know, the whole lawsuit thing came out, and mm -hmm. everything was held in escrow. He didn't. He wrote the song, and the man didn't make any money. Wow. You know, so it's like. Those, those people that think they know the story, they mm -hmm. don't know the story. He just got the rights back to his song, like, I want to say five years ago, maybe. Wow. He just got the rights back to that song. The guys have broken up and they tried to do a new, nice and wild reunion thing, and of course I didn't want to do it. At one point, it was it was ugly between us. I, you know, they, I think they had a fear of me busting when they did these shows. And so you still have someone, like this guy David, David was in the group. David sang that one little Spanish part, and he okay. goes out and he performs Diamond Girl. <laughs> okay. Sings, actually sings to my voice. Oh, okay. It's not as if he's doing an instrumental. They actually play the original track with my voice on it, and he sings to the track. Okay. You know, and then make a couple of dollars. I think one of the guys wants to do his own nice and wild version of it, you know, and another one. So everybody's, you know, going around lying to everybody and telling people that they sang a song. I'm so, they, they're they stuck back mm -hmm. there. That That is my past. It was like 20 years ago. Yeah, right? exactly. And so it was like, I cannot live my life with <laughs> about this song all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's right. like, that's that was it. It was a fluke. It wasn't even supposed to happen. It did happen. You're my diamond girl. If they want to live back there, they can. That's, mm -hmm. that's their issue and that's their thing. 
I, I'm trying to just move on from it. You know, it's it's one of those things. Mm. You know, and I mean, I've done. I I won Star Search. I did Star yeah. Search. Yeah, and I I won that, and it was that was another experience for me that was crazy. This is before or after that. That was actually after Diamond Girl. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And, and it was that was another fluke. I didn't. Like go and audition for the thing. Actually, a girl, a friend of mine, she auditioned and they asked her if she knew another male vocalist okay. that can audition. I went and auditioned with her, and they picked me, and they didn't pick her. Mm. And I ended up winning that, and it was that was another crazy experience in my life that I, I sort of regret doing that. The experience was great. I met some great people. You know, I'm still friends with Anita Whitaker. She was a um, female vocalist winner. There, mm -hmm. she's amazing. I had, I've done my stuff, you know, I've done a lot to know that I don't want to do it like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to get into the messy part of it. If I can't right. sing and record and do stuff without getting into the craziness, mm -hmm. which is virtually impossible, right. <laughs> then I don't want to do it. Nobody stole anything from me. This was my you choice. Chose it. Yeah, and, you know, the people that he think made the money didn't even make the money. I mean, because I worked with him for a while, Joe, the guy that wrote the song, mm -hmm. you know. And, he tried to do some solo stuff with me. This was during and after the stars were trying. I know he didn't have any money. <laughs> you know? I know he was struggling. You know, right. it's like it was it was crazy for him. It was even worse for him because he this is something that he created mm. and he couldn't you know, he couldn't get to it. So yeah, that's that's how it went. That's how it goes. So what are you doing now? Right now I'm doing what I've been doing for all the time. Sing? <laughs> sing, exactly. I still sing. I'm working with my band that I've been with forever. It's Fusion. Mm -hmm. We've been together for a long time. You know, you work with us mm -hmm. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, you know, Tony Neal, myself, Andrea. Right. Sometimes Emily, when she's not doing her thing, mm -hmm. she's a celebrity too. Oh, well, yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm happy with that. Well, do you have any um, other advice or advice for any other, you know, singers, performers, young people? It's anything from personal experience. Yeah, from personal experience, don't let anybody bully you into doing anything. If right. You, if you really love singing and performing, dancing, whatever, acting, whatever, stay true to it because in the end, I mean, you, it's, it's literally selling your soul to the devil and it is. It really is. I mean, because you know, getting addicted is, it's, I've seen it, I grew up with it. Mm. I've seen my family be destroyed by cocaine and stuff like that. And alcohol, and it's like, you know, who's to say who's gonna get addicted and who's not? Why take that chance? And, you know, just love, love what you do. You, you know, love, love your art more than being famous and popular. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, you know, it, it lasts a lot longer. You know, I'm 48 years old, I'm still dancing and jumping around and bending down and flipping and singing and I'm singing, you know, stuff that, that, that they're creating with auto tunes in the studio. But, you know, I'm still doing it. I'm going to sing until I croak. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I'm fortunate to do what I love to do. Will you sing for me? You've heard me sing before. Oh, yeah, so but I haven't heard you sing this song. <laughs> I want to hear you sing this song. It's not you. I saw somebody else singing online. I know you saw it, yeah. Darling girl, you made me feel like I'm on fire when you are near. You captivate me with your smile. Girl, you make me get so wild. Ooh, oh, darling girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so now everybody knows the story. Yeah. So that's it. So stop asking. Stop asking. Stop asking. Please. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. It might be on Fusion Fan page. You might post some of this video on Fusion Fan page. Hmm. You can feel what I am feeling, and the truth is just believing. Your mind.